on our way to Riverfront Studios for the last day, potential last day of drum recording, which is sad, but it is what it is. And um, we'll see what happens. Well, we started over the uh, summer, summer of 2012, started getting things going and, uh, you know, slowly but surely got the pieces together and right when we loaded up the drums, I want to say the day before uh, Sandy, October 28th I believe it was, we, we had just got the drums ready to go and then we had some really bad luck and the uh, studio uh, was demolished and uh, really put us uh, several weeks back, over five, six weeks back on the recording, then came the holidays, and, uh, but uh, after the holidays, we really got back into it, and uh, we, we've been hard charging ever since then. Uh. <laughs> yeah, once we got the drums in, um, in the room, we, you know, we tried a bunch of different heads, and um, a couple different snares, some different cymbals and stuff, and uh, Stacy's real particular with um, with everything. You know him and Rob. Rob's been sitting in on on the whole uh, recording, you know, co-producing and engineering and stuff with him. So two of them are very vocal on what they you know like, and Rob's really into drums and stuff. So you know he'll tell me try this, try that, and you know when I'm doing stuff in the room, he'll you know run over, give me the thumbs up, and that it's good. They don't realize that most of the time I'm sitting in the room. This band works real hard. I mean, everyone's an asset, not even from a music and writing standpoint, but even down to things like, you know, artwork, um, stage production, mixing and editing tracks, you know, a lot goes into all this. And, you know, it's definitely going to show on this album. It definitely comes out um, in our live shows. Two things that really drive this band, just the love of music. 